what I'm watching right here is I'm looking at this spot. So I'm watching this volume. And of course, I'm watching the L2s and we've got our support and resistance is already stacked right here and right here. So this is your channel starter positions around this area down here. Looking for uh, shedding up here. And then, of course, if it pulls right back, I get out. But if you get a break, this is going to be the next leg uh, up. Now, I can see there's uh you can see the seller. So take a look over here. Buyers at 3.9. That's good because, remember, our support was 3.88. So that's good. We got buyers at 3.9. See if they can hold. You can see off of this candle, sellers came in. Can you guys see this candle right here where it's pushing down? You got a long wick. Whenever you see these wicks, just like this one was a buy wick, just like this was buy, this was sell, think of it as people pushing it, right? So if you were pushing a box away from you, right, you're either pushing it up or you're pushing it down. And that's what creates these long wick candles. Um, over here, by the way, since we don't talk about candles a whole lot, this is a perfect doji. Check this out. See this one? So if you look at this candle, so all the traffic was going up. This is the doji candle. You guys see it? What this means is it's a candle. Of, this is a candle of indecision. That's all that means, right? So the buyers and the sellers are the same. So when you look at this on this one minute chart I'm looking at, so it was yeah. originally being pushed to the upside. It hit the doji, meaning we don't know anymore. Typically, when it does that, that is a sign of reversal, which it did. Okay? Because you didn't have any more buying pressure to continue to push it. You didn't have selling pressure to, you know, super drop it. So it was indecisive. Indeci indecision is people now selling it off. So this is a reversal. So this is a doji reversal. Make sense? It's a pretty common setup. Just like if you look for a big wick, if you see a big long wick on the drive, that also can spell change of direction. So we're always keeping an eye on this of what's going on. So again, we're watching support and resistance. We're watching the L2. We're keeping an eye on the candles. We're using everything that we have. We're watching, of course, VWAP. We're keeping an eye down here on EWO. We're still doing all of this, even though we're scalping. And this is why I said, if you can't understand all of this in real time, here's your 388 again. But if you can't calculate all of this in real time, you don't want to be scalping, right? I'm watching the L2. I'm watching the volume. I'm seeing where it's at in comparison to my average volume. I'm looking at how much free float, meaning how many shares are available. I'll see if there's options, if there's options for this, uh, for this or not. Because listen, usually when there's not options, allows more room for faster volatility because money's not being poured into options. It's only in the shares. So that's another thing I look at, right? I'm watching the L2, of course. I'm looking at support, resistance. Where's VWAP? Where's the 200? What's the trend? Where is it going? Where are these little micro channels? Is there any golden levels of support, meaning previous day high, previous day low, right? I'm looking for all of these things are going to help me throughout this entire trade. If I don't have data, I got to go back farther. These are all the things that we should instantly be calculating on every time we look at a chart. And if you're not, you're not ready. Right, you're just not ready to yeah. get real money, which means you need to just get back to the basics. And of course, EWO, uh, go to a larger time frame. What does the overall look like? You can see overalls to the upside, right? How is this looking? Is it doing anything? I'm always watching the news. Was there any catalyst? Catalyst? Uh, what kind of catalyst? Is it enough of a news catalyst to drive it? Is it a real force? Is is it a a quick pop and drop? Is it you know, FDA approval, which means most likely you're going to get longevity. Like, what is the news and what is it doing? And then is there global news? Is there some kind of impact? Is there something on MSNBC where, you know, tensions overseas? Is something going on? All of the data, all the time you should be processing. <laughs>